Welcome to Woo English, channel number one for learning English through captivating stories. Today, we embark on an inspiring journey through the life of Nancy Reagan, a tale of determination and grace. Don't forget to like, subscribe and join us in exploring this dramatic narrative biography. Let's dive into the story. Chapter 1 Early Days in New York Nancy Davis Reagan's story starts in the bustling city of New York. Born on July 6, 1921, she was originally named Anne Frances Robbins, but everyone called her Nancy. Her life in the big city was not like the movies. It was full of challenges, yet also filled with dreams. Nancy's early years were a mix of joy and struggle. Her father, Kenneth Seymour Robbins, was a car salesman. Her mother, Edith Luckett, was an actress. Because of her mother's job, Nancy spent a lot of her childhood with her aunt and uncle in Maryland. She missed her mother a lot during these times. But Nancy was a brave and optimistic girl. She loved to imagine and create stories, often acting them out in front of her aunt and uncle. As a young girl, Nancy attended the Sidwell Friends School, a private academy in Washington, D.C. She was a good student, curious and eager to learn. She loved reading books, and her favourite subjects were English and history. The stories from the past fascinated her, and she often pictured herself as a character in these historical tales. Nancy's mother returned to her life when Nancy was just eight years old. Edith Luckett had remarried a prominent neurosurgeon, Dr. Loyal Davis. This reunion brought a big change to Nancy's life. Dr. Davis was a kind and caring man. He officially adopted Nancy, and she happily took his last name. The family moved to Chicago, and this new chapter in Nancy's life began. In Chicago, Nancy attended the girls' Latin school. Here, her love for acting grew. She participated in many school plays, showing a natural talent on stage. Her classmates remembered her as a bright and enthusiastic performer. Nancy's dream of becoming an actress was taking shape. But Nancy's life was not just about acting. She loved to help others. She often volunteered in her community, believing that everyone could make a difference. Her warm heart and caring nature made her popular among her friends. As Nancy grew older, she became more aware of the world around her. She saw the struggles and the joys of everyday life in the city. These experiences shaped her, making her strong and compassionate. She learned to understand people's feelings and situations, a skill that would help her in the future. Nancy's high school years were a time of growth and discovery. She was not only a star on stage, but also a leader in her school. She was active in student government and often spoke up for her classmates. Nancy believed in fairness and worked hard to make her school a better place for everyone. The call of Hollywood was strong in Nancy's heart. She dreamed of becoming a successful actress. But she knew that it would take hard work and dedication. Nancy was ready for the challenge. She had the support of her family and the strength of her dreams. As Nancy's high school days came to an end, she looked forward to the future. She was determined to chase her dreams and make them a reality. Her journey from New York to Hollywood was about to begin, but Nancy would always remember her early days in New York. They were the foundation of the remarkable woman she would become. Nancy's story is not just about fame and success. It is a story of resilience, hope and the power of dreams. Her journey shows us that with determination and a kind heart, we can overcome challenges and reach for the stars. Chapter 2 The World of Theatre Nancy's journey into the world of theatre began with a burning passion in her heart, 
After high school, she decided to chase her dream of becoming an actress. Her first step was to attend Smith College in Massachusetts. It was a prestigious school, known for its excellent drama program. Nancy was thrilled. She knew this was her chance to shine. At Smith College, Nancy studied English and drama. She was a dedicated student, always eager to learn more. Her days were filled with classes, rehearsals and studying. She loved every moment of it. Nancy was especially drawn to the works of Shakespeare and other classic playwrights. Their words seemed to dance in her heart. But college life wasn't just about studying. Nancy made many friends. She was known for her kindness and her bright smile. Her friends admired her dedication to acting. They often said she had a natural talent for bringing characters to life. Nancy's first big opportunity came in a college production. She was cast in a leading role. It was a challenging part, but Nancy was ready. She worked tirelessly, learning her lines and understanding her character. When the curtains opened on opening night, Nancy was a star. Her performance was brilliant. The audience was captivated by her talent. This success was just the beginning for Nancy. She participated in many more plays during her college years. Each performance was a chance to grow and learn. Nancy's confidence on stage grew with each applause. She knew she was following the right path. As her college days were coming to an end, Nancy faced a big decision. She had to choose her next step. Hollywood was calling her name. It was a place where dreams could come true, but it was also full of challenges. Nancy was not afraid. She was determined to succeed. After graduating from Smith College, Nancy made the bold move to Hollywood. It was a different world from the one she knew. Hollywood was glamorous, but it was also competitive. Nancy had to start from the bottom, going to auditions and waiting for her chance. Her early days in Hollywood were not easy. She faced rejection and disappointment. But Nancy never gave up. She believed in her talent and her dreams. She went to audition after audition, always giving her best performance. Finally, Nancy's hard work paid off. She landed a role in a Broadway touring production. It was a small part, but it was a start. Nancy was overjoyed. She poured her heart into the role, making the most of her opportunity. This role led to more opportunities. Nancy began to get noticed in the theatre world. She was praised for her performances. Directors and producers saw her talent. Nancy was making a name for herself. She was becoming a respected actress. But the theatre was more than just a job for Nancy. It was her passion. She loved the thrill of being on stage, bringing stories to life. The theatre was where she felt most at home. It was where she belonged. As Nancy's career in the theatre grew, so did her skills. She learned to express complex emotions and connect with her audience. She could make people laugh and cry. Nancy was not just an actress, she was a storyteller. Nancy's journey in the world of theatre taught her many things. She learned about determination, resilience and the power of hard work. She also learned about the importance of staying true to oneself. Nancy remained humble and kind, no matter how much success she found. Chapter 3 Hollywood Dreams Nancy's journey took a thrilling turn as she stepped into the world of Hollywood. This was a place where the brightest stars shone, and Nancy was determined to be one of them. Hollywood was filled with glamour, but it was also a place of hard work and fierce competition. Nancy was ready to embrace both. Arriving in Hollywood, Nancy was filled with excitement and a bit of nervousness. The streets were lined with palm trees and the sun shined brightly. Everywhere she looked, there were signs of the film industry. 
movie studios, theatres and billboards of famous stars surrounded her. Nancy knew she was in the right place to chase her dreams. Her first task was to find an agent. An agent would help her get auditions and roles in movies. Nancy met with several agents, but it was not easy. Many agents were looking for experienced actors. But Nancy had something special. She had talent, determination, and a unique sparkle. Finally, she found an agent who believed in her potential. With an agent by her side, Nancy started going to auditions. She auditioned for many roles, big and small. Each audition was a chance to show her talent. Sometimes she was nervous, but she always did her best. Nancy knew that every great actress had to start somewhere. The film industry was different from theatre. Movies were a new world for Nancy. She learned about cameras, lights and movie sets. It was fascinating but also challenging. In theatre, she performed live. In movies, scenes were filmed over and over. Nancy had to adapt to this new way of acting. Her first role in a movie was small. She played a nurse with just a few lines. But Nancy was thrilled. It was her first step into Hollywood movies. She worked hard, showing her dedication and professionalism. The director and other actors were impressed with her. After her first role, more opportunities came. Nancy started getting bigger parts. She acted in different types of movies, dramas, comedies and even a western. With each role, she learned something new. She became more confident and skilled as an actress. But Hollywood was not just about acting. It was also about making connections. Nancy met many people in the industry, directors, producers and other actors. She was friendly and respectful to everyone. Nancy knew that good relationships were important in Hollywood. One of the biggest challenges in Hollywood was dealing with rejection. Not every audition led to a role. Sometimes Nancy was turned down for parts she really wanted. It was disappointing, but she never let it stop her. Nancy believed in herself. She knew that for every no, there was a yes waiting around the corner. As Nancy's career grew, so did her fame. People started recognising her. She was invited to movie premieres and Hollywood parties. It was exciting, but Nancy stayed humble. She remembered her roots and the hard work it took to get here. Being an actress in Hollywood was demanding. Long hours on set, learning lines, and constantly adapting to new roles. But Nancy loved it. She was living her dream. Every day was an adventure. Every role was a chance to tell a story. Nancy also saw the glamorous side of Hollywood. She walked red carpets and wore beautiful dresses. She met famous stars and attended glamorous events. It was like living in a dream. But Nancy knew that the true glamour of Hollywood was in the hard work and passion for storytelling. Her time in Hollywood was not just about becoming a star. It was about growth and learning. Nancy learned to be strong and resilient. She learned the importance of hard work and dedication, and she learned that dreams do come true with persistence and belief. Chapter 4 Meeting Ronald Reagan Nancy's life took a magical turn when she met Ronald Reagan. It was a moment that would change her life forever. Ronald, like Nancy, was an actor in Hollywood. He was known for his charm and good looks. Little did Nancy know, he would become much more than just a fellow actor to her. Their first meeting was like a scene from a movie. It happened at a dinner party hosted by a mutual friend. Nancy was immediately struck by Ronald's warm smile and friendly nature. He was easy to talk to and had a great sense of humour. Nancy felt a connection right from the start. Ronald was equally enchanted by Nancy. 
He found her to be beautiful, of course, but also intelligent and witty. They spent the evening chatting and laughing. It was clear to both of them that there was a special spark between them. After that first meeting, Ronald and Nancy started seeing each other more often. They went to dinners, movies and walks around Hollywood. They shared stories about their lives and their dreams. Nancy was impressed by Ronald's kindness and his passion for acting. But their relationship was not just about romantic dinners and walks under the Hollywood stars. They both had busy careers and had to find time for each other. This wasn't always easy, but it showed how much they cared. They made their relationship a priority. As they spent more time together, Nancy and Ronald discovered they had a lot in common. They both loved acting, but they also cared about the world around them. They talked about their hopes for the future and how they wanted to make a difference. Their relationship grew stronger with each passing day. Nancy found in Ronald a partner who supported her dreams. He respected her as an actress and as a person. For Nancy, this was very important. She felt loved and valued. Ronald, on the other hand, was inspired by Nancy's determination and strength. He admired how she faced challenges and pursued her career with passion. Nancy brought joy and light into his life. Together, they were a great team. The Hollywood community soon took notice of their romance. Nancy and Ronald became one of the most talked about couples in town. They appeared together at events and on the red carpet. They looked perfect together, but their relationship was more than just appearances. It was built on love, respect and mutual understanding. As their love grew, so did their commitment to each other. They realised that they wanted to spend their lives together. Ronald proposed to Nancy, and she said yes. It was a beautiful moment, full of hope and excitement for the future. Their engagement was celebrated by their friends, family and fans. Everyone could see how happy they were together. Nancy and Ronald were not just a Hollywood couple. They were a symbol of a love that could withstand the pressures of fame and busy careers. Chapter 5 A Wedding to Remember The wedding day of Nancy and Ronald Reagan was a day to remember, a beautiful celebration of love and commitment. It was March 4th, 1952, a day filled with joy, excitement and a little bit of Hollywood glamour. The wedding took place in a simple and elegant ceremony. Nancy and Ronald chose to have a small, intimate wedding, inviting only their closest friends and family. They wanted their special day to be about their love, not a big Hollywood event. Nancy was a vision of beauty on her wedding day. She wore a stylish, ankle-length dress made of delicate lace. It was simple yet elegant, just like Nancy herself. Her hair was styled in soft waves, and she carried a bouquet of white flowers. She looked every bit the radiant bride. Ronald, on the other hand, was handsome in a dark suit. He wore a smile that showed his happiness and love for Nancy. As he waited for her at the altar, his eyes shone with emotion. It was clear that this was one of the happiest days of his life. The ceremony was heartfelt and touching. Nancy and Ronald exchanged vows, promising to love and support each other through all the joys and challenges of life. There was not a dry eye in the room as they said, I do. Their love for each other was evident in every word they spoke. After the vows, the newlyweds shared their first kiss as husband and wife. It was a sweet and tender moment, a perfect start to their life together. The guests applauded, sharing in the couple's happiness. The reception was a joyful celebration. It was held in a lovely garden, decorated with flowers and lights. The atmosphere was festive and full of love. Friends and family gathered around Nancy and Ronald, offering their congratulations and best wishes. There was music, laughter and dancing. 
Nancy and Ronald had their first dance as a married couple. They moved gracefully together, lost in their own world. It was a beautiful sight, watching them dance under the stars. The reception also had heartfelt speeches from friends and family. They spoke about Nancy and Ronald's journey, their love and their future together. Each speech was a testament to the couple's wonderful relationship and the high regard in which they were held. Nancy and Ronald took the time to speak with each guest, thanking them for being part of their special day. They were gracious hosts, making sure everyone felt welcome and appreciated. It was a night of celebration, love and friendship. As the evening came to an end, Nancy and Ronald left for their honeymoon. They were surrounded by cheers and well wishes as they departed. It was the beginning of a new chapter in their lives, a chapter filled with love and partnership. Their wedding was not just a celebration of their love, it was a symbol of their commitment to each other. Nancy and Ronald had found in each other a partner for life, someone to share the joys and challenges of the journey ahead. Chapter 6 Family Life Nancy's life took on a new dimension as she embraced the role of a mother, a phase filled with love, challenges and joy. Balancing family life with her ambitions was not easy, but Nancy faced it with grace and determination. The arrival of Nancy and Ronald's children brought a new kind of happiness into their lives. First came Patricia Ann, fondly known as Patty, born in 1952. Then, in 1958, they welcomed their son, Ronald Prescott. Nancy's heart swelled with love for her children. She was a devoted mother, always there for her children, supporting and loving them. Motherhood was a new role for Nancy, and like everything else in her life, she approached it with commitment and love. She made sure to spend quality time with her children, nurturing their growth and development. Nancy read stories to them, played games, and was involved in their everyday activities. She wanted to give them a happy and stable childhood. But Nancy was not just a mother. She also had her own dreams and ambitions. Balancing her career with motherhood was a challenge. Nancy had to find a way to manage her time and responsibilities. It was a delicate balancing act, but she handled it with skill. Nancy continued acting, though she took fewer roles to focus on her family. She carefully chose projects that allowed her to be there for her children. Her family was her priority, and she made career decisions, keeping that in mind. Ronald, her husband, was a great support. He was an involved father, sharing the responsibilities of parenting. Together, they created a loving home for Patty and Ron. They were a team, both in their personal and professional lives. Nancy also became involved in her children's education and activities. She was a regular at school events, parent meetings and extracurricular activities. Nancy believed in the importance of education and wanted to ensure her children had the best opportunities. As the children grew, Nancy taught them the values of kindness, hard work and respect. She wanted them to be good people just as much as she wanted them to succeed in their endeavours. Nancy was a role model for her children, showing them how to balance life's various aspects gracefully. Family life also meant dealing with the challenges that came along. Nancy and Ronald faced these challenges together. Whether it was managing busy schedules or dealing with the pressures of public life, they supported each other. Their home was a haven, a place of love and stability amidst their busy lives. Holidays and family gatherings were special times for Nancy and her family. These occasions brought everyone together, creating memories that would last a lifetime. 
Nancy cherished these moments, knowing how important they were for building strong family bonds. As a mother, Nancy experienced the joys and worries that come with raising children. She felt pride in their achievements and concern during their struggles. Through it all, she remained a constant source of love and support for her children. Nancy's role as a mother showed a different side of her. It revealed her warmth, her strength, and her ability to juggle multiple roles. She was not just an actress or a public figure. She was a mother, a wife, and a strong woman who could handle the demands of family life and her ambitions. Chapter 7 the political scene. The course of Nancy's life took a dramatic turn when Ronald entered the world of politics. This new chapter brought significant changes, introducing her to a realm of power and responsibility she had never experienced before. Ronald's decision to enter politics was a pivotal moment for the family. Initially, Nancy was hesitant about this change. The world of politics was vastly different from their life in Hollywood. It was a world filled with challenges, scrutiny and immense responsibility. But Nancy, ever the supportive partner, stood by Ronald's decision. As Ronald's political career progressed, Nancy found herself in a new role. She was no longer just an actress or a mother. She was the wife of a politician. This role brought with it new duties and expectations. Nancy had to learn the intricacies of political life, a task she undertook with determination. Ronald's first major political position was as the governor of California. This role thrust both Ronald and Nancy into the spotlight. As the First Lady of California, Nancy had to navigate a world of public appearances, political events, and social responsibilities. It was a daunting task, but Nancy faced it head-on. Nancy quickly adapted to her new role. She learned to balance her public responsibilities with her private life. She became skilled at public speaking, attending events, and supporting Ronald's political agenda. Nancy was more than just a supportive wife. She was a partner in Ronald's political journey. One of the challenges Nancy faced was the media scrutiny. As a public figure, her every move was watched and often judged. Nancy learned to handle the media with grace and poise. She understood that her actions and words could have an impact on Ronald's political career. Nancy also became involved in various social causes as the First Lady of California. She focused on issues close to her heart like supporting veterans and promoting the arts. Nancy used her position to make a difference, bringing attention to important issues. As Ronald's political career grew, so did the challenges and responsibilities. Nancy was always there, a constant source of support and advice for Ronald. She was his confidant, someone he could rely on during tough times. Their partnership was a strong foundation in the unpredictable world of politics. Nancy's journey in politics was not just about supporting Ronald, she also grew as an individual. Nancy developed a deeper understanding of political issues and learned the art of diplomacy. She became an influential figure in her own right, respected for her insights and contributions. The transition from Hollywood to politics was not easy but Nancy managed it with elegance and strength. She showed that she could adapt to new roles and face challenges with resilience. Nancy's journey in the political scene was a testament to her versatility and determination. Chapter 8 First Lady of California With Ronald's election as the Governor of California, Nancy embarked on a new and challenging journey as the First Lady of California. This role was a significant shift from her previous life, and it came with a unique set of responsibilities and opportunities. As First Lady, 
Nancy's days were filled with a variety of activities and events. She had to attend official functions, organise social events, and participate in various public engagements. It was a busy schedule, but Nancy tackled it with energy and grace. One of Nancy's first tasks was to make the governor's mansion a welcoming place. She took great care in overseeing the mansion's operations, ensuring it was a comfortable home for her family and a suitable venue for state events. Nancy's attention to detail and her taste in décor were evident in every room. Besides her duties at the mansion, Nancy also focused on several social initiatives. She was particularly passionate about improving the lives of veterans and promoting the arts in California. Nancy used her position to advocate for these causes, organising events and raising awareness. Being the First Lady also meant supporting Ronald in his role as Governor. Nancy was a trusted advisor to Ronald, offering her perspective on various issues. She stood by his side during political campaigns, speeches and critical decisions. Nancy's support was a source of strength for Ronald. However, Nancy's role as First Lady was not without its challenges. She had to navigate the complexities of political life, often under the scrutiny of the public and the media. Nancy learned to handle criticism with poise and to stand up for what she believed in. One of the most significant challenges Nancy faced was balancing her public duties with her private life. She was a mother and a wife, roles that were very important to her. Nancy worked hard to ensure that her family did not get lost in the demands of political life. Nancy's commitment to her family was evident. She made sure to be there for her children, attending their school events and being a part of their lives despite her busy schedule. Nancy believed that a strong family was crucial and she did everything she could to maintain that bond. In her role as First Lady, Nancy also became a fashion icon. Her elegant style and grace were admired by many. She was featured in magazines and became a role model for style and sophistication. Nancy's sense of fashion was a reflection of her personality, graceful, strong and dignified. Throughout her time as First Lady of California, Nancy grew as a leader and a public figure. She faced the challenges of the role with resilience and became an influential voice in California's social and cultural landscape. Nancy's time as First Lady was not just about fulfilling duties. It was about making a difference. Nancy's journey as First Lady of California was a testament to her adaptability and strength she showed that it was possible to balance public responsibilities with personal values. Nancy's role in this chapter of her life was not just as a supportive wife, she was a leader, an advocate, and a symbol of grace and strength. Chapter 9 Advocacy and Influence As First Lady of California, Nancy embraced the opportunity to use her position for the greater good. She became a powerful advocate for several causes, using her influence to bring about positive change. Her journey in advocacy and influence was marked by dedication, compassion and a deep sense of responsibility. One of Nancy's key focuses was on improving the lives of veterans. She had a profound respect for those who had served their country and she was determined to make a difference in their lives. Nancy organised events to honour veterans and worked to increase awareness and support for veteran-related issues. She was deeply involved in initiatives that provided assistance and resources to veterans and their families. Another cause close to Nancy's heart was the promotion of the arts. She believed that arts and culture were essential for a vibrant society. Nancy championed arts education and supported various cultural programs across California. She used her influence to encourage public and private support for the arts, hosting exhibitions and attending performances to showcase local talent. Nancy also dedicated herself to health-related causes. 
she was particularly moved by the challenges faced by those struggling with addiction. Her efforts in this area were not just about raising awareness, but also about promoting effective treatment and support programs. Nancy's compassion for those affected by addiction was evident in her dedication to this cause. In addition to these initiatives, Nancy was a strong supporter of youth programmes. She believed in empowering young people with opportunities and education. Nancy participated in and organised events aimed at inspiring and supporting youth in various aspects of life, from education to leadership development. Nancy's advocacy work extended beyond specific causes. She used her platform to speak out on issues of social and political importance. With a keen understanding of media and public relations, Nancy effectively communicated her messages and ideas. She was not afraid to voice her opinions and stand up for what she believed was right. Her influence was also felt in her ability to bring people together for common goals. Nancy had a talent for networking and building relationships. She collaborated with community leaders, organisations and other public figures to amplify her efforts. Nancy's ability to unite different groups for a cause was a testament to her leadership and diplomatic skills. Despite her growing role in advocacy, Nancy remained grounded and connected to the people she served. She often met with individuals and community groups, listening to their stories and understanding their needs. Nancy's empathy and genuine concern for others were the driving forces behind her advocacy work. Throughout her time as First Lady of California, Nancy faced challenges in her advocacy work. She navigated political pressures and public scrutiny, always striving to maintain her integrity and focus on her causes. Nancy's resilience in the face of obstacles only strengthened her commitment to making a difference. Nancy's work in advocacy and influence left a lasting impact. She raised awareness on important issues, supported valuable programs, and inspired others to get involved. Nancy showed that with determination and compassion, one could use their position to create positive change in the world. Chapter 10. The Road to the White House. The journey to the White House was a significant chapter in Nancy's life, filled with new challenges and opportunities. Ronald's decision to run for President of the United States marked the beginning of an intense and demanding campaign, and Nancy was right there by his side. Nancy played a crucial role in Ronald's presidential campaign. She was not just a supportive wife. She was an active participant. Her involvement went beyond attending events and making public appearances. Nancy had a keen understanding of the political landscape, and offered valuable insights and advice. The campaign trail was demanding. Nancy and Ronald travelled across the country, meeting people from all walks of life. They attended rallies, gave speeches, and participated in numerous events. For Nancy, this was both exhausting and exhilarating. She was passionate about Ronald's vision for the country, and was determined to help him succeed. Nancy's ability to connect with people was a significant asset to the campaign. She had a warm and engaging personality that resonated with the public. Nancy listened to people's stories and concerns, often relaying them to Ronald. She was a bridge between the people and the campaign. One of the challenges Nancy faced during the campaign was the intense media scrutiny. Every word and action was analysed and sometimes criticised. Nancy learned to navigate this scrutiny with grace and strength. She maintained her composure and stayed focused on the campaign's goals. Nancy also had to deal with the personal attacks and political opposition that came with a presidential campaign. It was not easy, but she remained steadfast. Nancy believed in Ronald's ability to lead the country, and she stood by him, 
even in the face of adversity. Throughout the campaign, Nancy's role evolved. She became an advocate for Ronald's policies and vision. Her speeches and interviews reflected her deep understanding of the issues and her commitment to the campaign's message. Nancy was more than just a figurehead. She was a persuasive and articulate spokesperson. The campaign was also a time for Nancy to showcase her leadership skills. She worked with the campaign team, contributing to strategy discussions and decision-making processes. Nancy's insights were valued and her contributions were significant. She was a key player in the campaign, respected and admired by the team. As the campaign progressed, Nancy's bond with Ronald grew stronger. They were a team, facing the challenges and joys of the campaign together. Their mutual support and respect were evident to all who worked with them. Nancy and Ronald's partnership was a cornerstone of the campaign's success. The culmination of the campaign was election night. It was a night filled with anticipation and excitement. Nancy stood by Ronald as the results came in. When Ronald was declared the winner, it was a moment of triumph and emotion. Nancy's hard work, dedication and belief in Ronald had contributed to this incredible victory. Chapter 11 Life in the White House Nancy's journey as the First Lady of the United States began with her and Ronald's arrival at the White House. This prestigious role brought new responsibilities and challenges, but Nancy navigated them with her characteristic grace and determination. Living in the White House was a significant change for Nancy. The iconic building was not just a residence, it was a symbol of American history and politics. Nancy understood the importance of this role and was committed to honouring the traditions and responsibilities that came with it. One of Nancy's first tasks was to oversee the White House's operations, ensuring it remained a welcoming and functional place for both her family and the numerous official events held there. She paid great attention to detail, from the decor to the organisation of state functions. Nancy wanted the White House to reflect the dignity and elegance of the nation. Nancy's role as First Lady involved a lot of public engagements. She attended state dinners, hosted foreign dignitaries, and participated in various national events. Her poise and charm were evident at these gatherings. Nancy represented the United States with dignity, making a positive impression on guests and dignitaries. In addition to her ceremonial duties, Nancy took on several causes close to her heart. She continued her advocacy work, focusing on issues such as drug abuse, prevention and support for veterans. Her Just Say No campaign against drug abuse became one of her most notable initiatives, gaining national attention and impacting many lives. Nancy was also deeply involved in various charitable and community service activities. She believed in giving back to the community and used her position to promote volunteerism and philanthropy. Her efforts helped to shine a spotlight on important social issues and encouraged others to get involved. However, life in the White House was not without its challenges. Nancy had to deal with political pressures and public scrutiny. Every decision and action was closely watched and often critiqued. Nancy faced these challenges head-on, staying true to her values and beliefs. One of the most difficult moments for Nancy was the assassination attempt on Ronald in 1981. It was a time of great fear and uncertainty. Nancy stood by Ronald's side, showing her strength and love during this crisis. Her dedication to her husband and her resilience during this trying time were admired by many. As First Lady, Nancy also played an important role in supporting Ronald in his presidential duties. She was his confidant and advisor, offering her perspective on various issues. Nancy and Ronald's partnership was a key element of his presidency. 
they shared a deep bond, both personally and professionally. Throughout her time in the White House, Nancy maintained a strong focus on her family. She ensured that her children and grandchildren were part of her life, despite the demands of her role. Nancy believed that family was the foundation of everything, and she worked hard to keep that foundation strong. Nancy's time as First Lady was marked by her elegance, her advocacy, and her unwavering support for Ronald. She left a lasting legacy through her contributions to social causes and her representation of the United States on the world stage. Chapter 12. Facing Challenges Nancy's life, both personal and as the First Lady, was not without its fair share of challenges. She faced these with courage and resilience, showing the strength of her character in the face of adversity. One of the most harrowing moments in Nancy's life was the assassination attempt on her husband, Ronald Reagan. It happened on March 30th, 1981, just a few months after Ronald took office. The news shook Nancy to her core. The thought of losing Ronald was unbearable. She rushed to the hospital where she found Ronald injured but alive. This incident profoundly impacted Nancy, heightening her concern for her husband's safety. During this time, Nancy's strength and love for Ronald were more evident than ever. She was by his side throughout his recovery, providing support and comfort. This crisis brought them even closer together, reinforcing their bond. Nancy's role during this time was not just as a wife, but also as a pillar of strength for Ronald and the nation. Beyond the public eye, Nancy faced personal health challenges. In 1987, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. This news was a shock to Nancy, but she faced it with the same determination and grace she displayed in all aspects of her life. She chose to undergo a mastectomy, a decision she made public. Raising awareness about breast cancer and encouraging women to get regular check-ups. Nancy's health issues brought attention to women's health and the importance of medical research. Her openness about her condition helped to destigmatize cancer and encourage others to seek medical advice and support. Nancy turned her personal challenge into an opportunity to help others, staying true to her nature of turning adversity into advocacy. In addition to these personal challenges, Nancy faced various public criticisms during her time in the White House. Her efforts to renovate the White House, her interest in fashion, and her influence over Ronald were sometimes met with scepticism and negative commentary. Nancy handled these criticisms with poise, focusing on her work and the causes she believed in. Another challenge Nancy faced was the pressure of being in the public eye. As First Lady, her every move was scrutinised. Nancy learned to navigate the complex world of public perception, maintaining her dignity and composure. She understood the responsibility that came with her role and strived to uphold the values and traditions of the First Lady. Throughout Ronald's presidency, Nancy also dealt with the political challenges that came with the role. She was often involved in discussions on national and international issues, providing her insights and support. Nancy's influence was a source of strength for Ronald, but it also brought its own set of challenges and responsibilities. Nancy's journey through these various challenges showcased her resilience. She faced personal health issues, public scrutiny, and the immense pressure of her husband's assassination attempt with a steadfast spirit. These experiences shaped her, making her a symbol of strength and perseverance. Nancy's ability to confront and overcome these challenges left a lasting impression. She became an inspiration to many, showing that with courage and resilience, one can face any obstacle. Chapter 13. Just Say No. One of the most defining aspects of Nancy Reagan's time as First Lady 
was her passionate involvement in the Just Say No campaign. This initiative, focusing on drug awareness and prevention, became a cornerstone of her legacy. The campaign began in the early 1980s when Nancy became aware of the escalating drug problem affecting America's youth. She saw the devastating impact of drug use on children, families and communities. Moved by this, Nancy decided to take action. Her goal was clear, to educate the nation's youth about the dangers of drug abuse and to empower them to reject these harmful substances. Nancy's approach was direct and straightforward, just say no. This simple yet powerful message became the slogan of her campaign. It was a call to action, a mantra for prevention, and a rallying cry for a nationwide movement against drug abuse. Nancy travelled across the country, visiting schools, community centres and drug rehabilitation facilities. She spoke to children and teenagers, sharing her message with compassion and conviction. Nancy's talks were not just about warning of the dangers of drugs, they were also about offering hope and support. She encouraged young people to make positive choices and to believe in their ability to say no. The Just Say No campaign gained tremendous momentum. It wasn't just a government initiative, it became a national movement. Schools and communities started their own Just Say No clubs. These clubs provided a platform for children and teenagers to support each other in staying drug-free. They organised events, campaigns and activities centred around drug prevention and awareness. Nancy also sought to involve parents, educators and community leaders in the campaign. She believed that everyone had a role to play in combating the drug crisis. Nancy emphasised the importance of open communication between parents and children and the need for education on drug abuse, prevention. The media played a significant role in spreading the Just Say No message. Nancy appeared on television shows, participated in interviews and utilised various media platforms to reach a wider audience. Her message resonated with many and the campaign received significant national and international attention. Nancy's dedication to the campaign was not just professional, it was personal. She met with many young people who had been affected by drugs. She listened to their stories, shared in their struggles, and celebrated their successes in overcoming addiction. Nancy's empathy and genuine concern for these individuals were evident in her interactions. The impact of the Just Say No campaign was profound. It raised awareness about the drug crisis, changed attitudes towards drug use and inspired positive action. While the campaign faced its share of critiques and challenges, its contribution to drug prevention and education was undeniable. Nancy's leadership in the Just Say No campaign showcased her commitment to making a difference. She used her platform as First Lady to address a critical issue of her time. Nancy's efforts in this campaign left a lasting legacy, highlighting her role as an advocate and a changemaker. Chapter 14. Golden Years. The golden years of Nancy Reagan's life began after the end of Ronald's presidency. This period was marked by reflection, continued public engagement and the nurturing of their legacy. Nancy and Ronald retired from the political spotlight, but their influence and work continued in different ways. After leaving the White House, Nancy and Ronald returned to California. They settled into a quieter life, but one that was still full of purpose and dedication. These years allowed them both to look back on their journey, to appreciate the highs and learn from the challenges. Nancy, during these years, took time to reflect on her role as First Lady. She thought about her advocacy work, especially the Just Say No campaign and its impact. 
she remained committed to her causes, continuing to speak and participate in events related to drug prevention and other social issues. Retirement also gave Nancy and Ronald more time to spend with each other and their family. They cherished this time, knowing how precious it was. They enjoyed simple pleasures like walks in their neighbourhood, spending time with their children and grandchildren, and hosting friends at their home. Nancy also began working on her memoirs during this time. Writing her memoirs was a way for her to document her and Ronald's journey, sharing their experiences and lessons learned. It was a personal project, one that allowed her to express her thoughts and memories. However, the golden years were not without challenges. Ronald's health began to decline due to Alzheimer's disease. This was a difficult time for Nancy, as she watched her beloved husband face the challenges of this illness. She became his primary caregiver, showing her unwavering love and dedication. Nancy's experience with Ronald's illness brought more awareness to Alzheimer's disease. She spoke openly about the struggles and the need for more research and support for those affected. Nancy turned her personal challenge into an opportunity to advocate for others facing similar situations. During this period, Nancy also reflected on her and Ronald's legacy. She was involved in the establishment and activities of the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library and Foundation. The foundation was not just a way to preserve Ronald's legacy, it was a platform for continuing their shared values and work. Nancy remained a respected figure in the public eye. She continued to be involved in politics and social issues, albeit in a less active role. Her opinions and endorsements were still sought after, and she remained a significant figure in the political landscape. The golden years were also a time for Nancy to receive recognition for her contributions. She was honoured with various awards and accolades, acknowledging her work as First Lady and her advocacy efforts. These recognitions were a testament to the impact she had made. In these later years, Nancy's grace, strength and resilience remained evident. She faced the challenges of Ronald's illness and her own ageing with courage. Nancy continued to inspire those around her, showing that one's influence and work do not end with retirement. Chapter 15. Legacy and Loss The later years of Nancy Reagan's life were marked by a blend of poignant loss and the solidification of her and Ronald's legacy. These were years of deep reflection, remembrance, and continuing influence. The loss of Ronald Reagan in 2004 was a profound moment for Nancy. They had shared a love that was both public and deeply personal. Ronald's passing marked the end of an era, not just for Nancy, but for the nation that had watched their story unfold over decades. Nancy faced this loss with the dignity and strength that had characterised her life. In her grief, Nancy found solace in remembering the life they had shared. She reflected on their journey together, from Hollywood to the White House, and the many roles they had embraced, as actors, as political figures, and most importantly, as partners and best friends. Their love story was one for the ages, marked by mutual support, respect, and an unwavering bond. Nancy also focused on preserving Ronald's legacy. She was actively involved in the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library and Foundation, ensuring that his contributions and their shared values were remembered and continued. The library became a place of learning, remembrance and continuation of the ideals Ronald had championed. In her reflections, Nancy also revisited her own contributions and achievements. She had been a first lady who redefined the role, an advocate for numerous causes, and a strong, influential figure in her own right. Her work, 
particularly with the Just Say No campaign, had made a lasting impact. Despite her personal loss, Nancy continued to participate in public life. She attended events, gave speeches, and remained a respected figure in both political and social circles. Her presence was a reminder of the Reagan era and its influence on American history. Nancy's later years were also about her own legacy. She became an example of resilience in the face of loss, a symbol of enduring love, and a model of dedication to public service. Her life story, interwoven with the tapestry of American history, continued to inspire and influence. As age advanced, Nancy maintained her grace and dignity. She faced the challenges of ageing with the same resolve she had shown throughout her life. Her public appearances, though less frequent, were still moments where her poise and elegance shone through. Nancy's life, especially in these later years, was a testament to the power of love, the impact of service, and the strength of the human spirit. She faced the loss of her beloved Ronald with courage, and in doing so, she cemented their legacy as a couple who had significantly impacted the world. Chapter 16 a life remembered. As we reach the final chapter in the story of Nancy Reagan, we reflect on her remarkable life, her impact, and how she is remembered. Nancy's life was a journey of love, dedication, and service, leaving an indelibly mark on history. Born Anne Frances Robbins, Nancy began her life in New York City. Her early years were marked by imagination and resilience, qualities that would define her throughout her life. Her journey from an aspiring actress to the First Lady of the United States was a testament to her strength, adaptability and determination. Nancy's time in Hollywood as an actress was more than a career. It was where she found her voice and her confidence. But her greatest role was yet to come as the wife of Ronald Reagan. Their love story was one of mutual support and deep connection. Together, they navigated the world of politics, eventually making their way to the White House. As First Lady, Nancy redefined the role. She was not just a supportive partner to Ronald, she was an advocate and a leader in her own right. Her Just Say No campaign against drug abuse was a highlight of her advocacy work, showing her commitment to making a difference in society. Nancy's life was also marked by elegance and grace, qualities that were evident in her style, her public appearances, and her approach to life's challenges. She faced the trials of her husband's assassination attempt, her own health issues, and the scrutiny of public life with unwavering strength. After the White House, Nancy and Ronald's golden years were a time of reflection and continued influence. Despite personal challenges, including Ronald's battle with Alzheimer's, Nancy remained a symbol of enduring love and resilience. She continued to be involved in public service, advocating for causes close to her heart and preserving Ronald's legacy. Nancy's life was a journey of many roles, from actress to first lady, from advocate to caregiver. In each role, she showed her unique blend of strength, grace and compassion. Her impact was felt not just in the causes she championed, but in the way she lived her life. Nancy Reagan will be remembered for her contributions to her country, her unwavering support for her husband and her commitment to her family. She left a legacy of advocacy, elegance and strength. Her life story continues to inspire those who hear it, a reminder of what can be achieved with determination and a caring heart. As we close the chapter on Nancy Reagan's life, we remember a woman who faced the world with grace, who stood firm in the face of adversity, and who used her position to make a difference. Nancy's life was a journey of many chapters, each marked by her unique touch and unwavering spirit. And with that, 
we conclude our journey through the life of Nancy Reagan, a story of resilience, grace and dedication. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable exploration. Remember, you can continue learning English through engaging stories like this at wuenglish.com. Dive into a world of captivating narratives and enhance your language skills. Plus, don't forget to download our free ebooks in PDF format, perfectly tailored for learners at all levels. Keep exploring, keep learning, and let the power of stories guide you on your English language journey. Visit wooenglish.com today and unlock a world of learning possibilities. Until next time, keep turning the pages and expanding your horizons.